Hi everybody, my name is Jake Johnson. This is Jake Showcase. I do videos on Wednesdays. Today uh, is uh, April the, sorry, May the 7th, 2015. And today uh, marks one week that I've actually had to attend the soup kitchens because uh, I've run out of money and I thought what I would do is sort of describe to you what going to a soup kitchen is like uh, for anybody who hasn't gone to one. Uh, I guess one of the first things that I, I really admire about soup kitchens usually is the people who are serving. Uh, just about everybody who's serving there is there uh, with a really good heart. And, uh, you know, that, that, that's one thing that's wonderful is the servers are tremendous. And I really think it's a good thing because uh, most people who are in a soup kitchen usually are, are, not, are not there by choice. Uh, you know, they either have a, a mental, physical, or an addiction issue that they're dealing with that uh, causes them to, you know, run out of money and not be able to obtain more. Maybe they don't know how to prepare food for themselves, depending on the situation. Um, it's a kind of a tough crowd, uh, for the most part. Before, I have been in the soup kitchens uh, quite a few times in the past, and each of the times before it was because of, like, me uh, drinking. I was always... Uh, I would always spend all my money on drinking and then need to go to the soup kitchens because I didn't have any money and eventually I would get a job and get my way out. But this is the first time that I've been going, I've gone to it uh, without having an addiction issue. Um, you know, I've been sober five years and, and, you know, I personally noticed a big difference between me and a lot of the others just because of my uh, coherentness. Um, uh, you know, and, and my state of mind, you know, I, I still think very positively. I, Feel like it's a bit of a tough situation I'm in right now. Um, there, it's really hit and miss from one day to the next. Uh, the, depending on where it is, the uh, meals can be very, very good, and they can be uh, very, very poor. Uh, I'm finding usually about uh, two days of the week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. You know, it's 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 hard it's hard kind of to get it down. You know, it's not the greatest food. And uh, the rest of the days are okay, and some of uh, there's only about one spot where you can have seconds and thirds to really fill yourself up. And one of the problems I think that a lot of people who are going to the soup kitchens regularly, you'll you'll notice that they're thin, right? And they're thin because they're not getting enough calories. Um, when you know they they make a meal, it's probably technically you know the calorie count that they need, or but it's usually a little bit less. And so people a lot of times are leaving out of the out of the soup kitchen still not quite satiated. At least I'm not quite satiated. Uh, I think except for two different times. And you know, of course, they're you know the the, the kitchens are are uh, limited by their money, right? How much money or either a budget donated or a grant given or some sort of an alliance with a, a government or something like that in order to create this. And if they don't have enough money. They can't they can't make like really good. Uh, good food because you know they have to you know use the budget that they have and so I think the support of the soup kitchens is really really important um, you know just because uh, by the time you're hungry enough that you're going to to these places which some of them are not in the greatest spots and you know you're you're more likely to get sick because a lot of times people are sick in these soup kitchens or coughing and they have all sorts of uh, ailments that uh, you know, uh, I had a bug come out of my hair uh, after I left one, and uh, you know, I don't really talk to any to too many of the people uh, there. It's it's just, uh, but some of them do. Some of them become friends, and you know, you see them frequently. But I'm just not that sociable because I know from uh, past experience that you know, a lot of times people who are there have real serious mental health issues, and. Uh, just you know staying just keeping your distance and trying to get your food as best you can and going and being friendly to the servers so you know it's uh it's been hard it's a hard go it's a hard time in my uh in my life right now um you know that i've 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 got there but you know i've really enjoyed doing the youtube and i've really enjoyed uh you know trying to make uh, good entertainment for you uh and I'm really, really trying to get up to that million view count. So that's been one of my driving forces. And, you know, I believe someday I will. So that's life. That's the reality of being a starving artist. Like, literally, a starving artist. I mean, there's a real term for it because I'm actually starving and I just had my last dinner. And so there you go. Life at the soup kitchen. Avoid it if you possibly can. Support them wherever you can. 
and you know it's a great idea to go in there and give service to right so keep keep your spirits up anybody in a soup kitchen things get better i'm on your team all right i'm going i'm going go there too you know nobody's too good to go there if you need to go there all right so please like my video below subscribe to my channel up above i do my videos on wednesday sometimes more i hope you have a wonderful day